Finally, joy among the Windsors. Beatrice of York is pregnant again with her husband, Edoardo Mapelli. Next year, the couple will welcome a new member to their family. It was the British royal family that shared the happy news through an official statement, announcing that their family would soon grow. Without going into detail, the message read, Her Royal Highness Princess Beatrice and Mr. Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi are delighted to announce that they are expecting their second child in the early part of the new year. This will be the couple's second child together, as their first daughter, Sienna Elizabeth Mapelli Mozzi, was born on September 18, 2021. Eduardo Mapelli also has a son, Christopher Wolfe, affectionately known as Wolfie, from a previous relationship with architect Dara Huang. A brother for Wolfie and Sienna, the Buckingham Statement read, The document also clarified that His Majesty the King has been informed, and both families are thrilled with the news. After all, there is nothing better than pregnancy news, especially amidst everything. The British royal family, staying in close contact with the soon-to-be parents, chose two original photographs to announce the pregnancy. They decided to forgo carefully posed shots in favor of more natural and homely images. In the first picture, Beatrice of York is warmly dressed, hugging her husband, who looks at her with romantic tenderness. In the second photo, Edoardo Mapelli is seen walking through a dense forest with two children. They are all warmly dressed for a nature walk. This photo was presumably taken by Beatrice herself. Undoubtedly, these are very intimate and simple images, something we are not used to from the British crown. The new child of Beatrice of York and Edoardo Mapelli is a breath of fresh air for the British monarchy. This child will be the fourth grandchild for Sarah Ferguson and Prince Andrew. But like his older sister Sienna, the new child will not have a royal title, but will be 11th in the line of succession to the British throne. Additionally, this baby will be the fourth grandchild for the Duke and Duchess of York, Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson. The prince's younger daughter, Eugenie of York, became a mother for the first time on February 9, 2021, along with her husband Jack Brooksbank. The couple named their son August. Following Sienna's birth, Eugenie gave birth to Ernest, their second son, on May 30th last year, bringing even more joy to the family. How the new child will be the perfect playmate for them. Beatrice of York and Eduardo Mapelli became engaged in 2019, which they announced through an official statement. We are extremely happy to share the news of our engagement. We both look forward to this journey and to our wedding. We share many common interests and values that will help us build a life full of love and happiness. However, their wedding plans were disrupted by the pandemic. But the couple did not abandon their plans, and on July 17, 2020, they exchanged vows in a private ceremony at the Royal Chapel of All Saints in Royal Lodge, Windsor. Present at the wedding were the bride's grandparents, Queen Elizabeth II and the Duke of Edinburgh. With Prince Harry's departure to America and Kate Middleton's reduced participation in official engagements, Prince William now faces a difficult task. How, with such a reduced working royal family, does he plan to fulfill all necessary duties and support key projects? Some believe the answer lies with his cousins, Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie. While William was in New York at the Earthshot Prize Summit, Beatrice was also in the Big Apple, participating in the Youth Impact Council event, and her mother, the Duchess of York, attended the Global Citizen Panel on Climate Solidarity in Commonwealth Countries. Although King Charles is cautious about giving Beatrice and Eugenie official working royal roles, it seems Prince William envisions a more prominent place for them in the royal family when he ascends the throne. In May, the sisters attended a garden party at Buckingham Palace supporting Prince William while Kate was undergoing treatment and could not attend. Their cousins, Zara Tyndall and Peter Phillips, were also present at the event. The Prince of Wales himself wanted to invite his cousins because he knew it would be fun to see all the young royals together, a palace source said. The cousins were happy to support William and filled Kate's absence at this important event. 
They are closer than many cousins could be. They share a unique common experience and an unusual life they all lead. An insider told Hello. They all belong to this institution, perhaps in different forms depending on how they serve it, but they all believe in its future and want to do everything they can to support it. Previously, it was assumed that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle would take on a significant part of the royal family's duties. However, their departure left a vacuum, and Harry himself made it clear that there was no turning back. When asked in 2023 if a return to the royal family was possible, he answered bluntly, No, I don't think that will ever be possible. It is quite possible that Prince William will increasingly rely on his cousins in the future. At present, neither Beatrice nor Eugenie receive state funding for their activities or security, and they are not considered official working members of the royal family. Nevertheless, they appear to have been given the green light for more public appearances this year. Beatrice even gave her first live TV interview in May. The princess appeared on iTVs this morning, from the top of the Empire State Building in New York to talk about the work of the Outward Bound Charity, which her grandfather, the Duke of Edinburgh, supported for over six decades. This interview required approval from Buckingham Palace, which may indicate that the royal family is ready to give Beatrice and her sister more prominent roles in the future. Judging by recent events, it can be said that the roles of Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie are gradually changing. Although they are not officially considered working members of the royal family and do not receive state funding, they are being given more opportunities for public appearances and participation in charitable projects. This may indicate that Prince William and possibly King Charles see them as support in managing the monarchy, especially as the number of working members of the family decreases. Beatrice's new pregnancy will undoubtedly bring joy not only to her and her husband, but to the entire family. However, this event may also strengthen her connection with the broader audience, portraying her as someone who successfully balances family duties with social and charitable activities. At a time when the royal family strives to renew itself and adapt to modern realities, the involvement of active and popular figures like Beatrice could become an important element of its future. Overall, it seems that important changes are taking place behind the scenes of royal life. It is possible that in the near future we will see Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie take on more significant roles, especially when other family members are busy or unavailable. In the close bonds between the cousins, their shared desire to support the monarchy and their commitment to doing good may lay the foundation for a new era in the British royal family.